Why the Last Man has been adapted from a comic book, but instead of trying to make it like the comic, well, instead they try to push modern day politics into it. Well, how did that turn out? All right, within seven episodes, the show is already canceled. <laughs> Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So Why the Last Man, a show that was based off of a very popular comic back from the early 2000s that lasted all the way till the late 2000s, uh, has already been canceled within seven episodes. I believe it was like three, four episodes in, and then it got canceled. Now, I'm sure that everybody can come to the conclusion as to why, because... You look at modern day Western entertainment, what's it about? Oh, well, you know, Western sensibilities and m agenda and also uh, gender identity politics because that's what they always make it about. That's It's what they always do. They push this stuff. And yet they do this for Twitter clout, you know, to get all oh, progressive points, which <laughs> that always comes back to blow up in the face because they always twist what it was supposed to be about and then insert their politics instead. So the fans that really did like this as a comic, well, you're not appealing to them because you're twisting and contorting what it was supposed to be for your politics. Well, then secondly, of course, the people they are trying to appeal to on Twitter, yeah, those clowns, they don't support it. They don't give a shit. So it's a show for nobody. You know, this is what we always see with woke bullshit. It's a show for no one. No one cares about it. So, of course, this was destined to fail at this point. Because you look at Hollywood, well, what are they? Well, they're just trying to force feed their politics down your throat and only allow you to think the way they think and not allow you to think differently and have your own free mind. You know, allow you to have your own ideologies or beliefs because they want to preach to you on how you should live your life. And this is why their shows fail. Because it's not entertainment. It's nothing but propaganda. And nobody cares for that. Why the Last Man has been cancelled by FX on Hulu, executive producer Eliza Clark announced via Twitter on Sunday. In a statement, Clark wrote, We have learned that we will not be moving forward with FX on Hulu for season two of Why the Last Man. I have never in my life been more committed to a story and there's so much left to tell. We don't want it to end. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, I'm so shocked. Why could they have done this? I, I don't know, because uh, you're trying to preach to people. Force politics down their throat. You know, I'm just saying. Just, just giving you, you know, just a thought. And then, of course, you know, Rotten Tomatoes here, you know, when you see the critics have like a 73%, you know that this is something to avoid. <laughs> because you know at that point it's not good. But, oh, let's take a look at how they uh, have the info here, because they talk about the series info. Based on DC Comics acclaimed series by Brian K. Uh, Vanagon uh, and Pia Guerrera, the drama Why the Last Man traverses a post-apocalyptic world in which a cataclysmic event decimates every mammal with a Y chromosome, but for one cisgender man and his pet monkey. Because, of course, they had to go, oh, cisgender. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the stuff that they try to push. And here's the thing. You had like a bunch of media outlets that were going out there and they were like, oh, well, look, it, this is what it does to like gender identity, all the things of that sort. You know, they, they, they were going on about that rather than talking about how like everything's falling apart and being an apocalypse. You know, that could have been more interesting. But no, no, they got to make it about, you know, politics, you know, identity politics, of course. You know, and they wonder. Why stuff like this falls apart? You know, you look at uh, the new uh, Superman, for example. You know, uh, Clark Kent's son, you know, uh, John Kent, you know, which I talked about in a previous video. Uh, the fact that, oh man, you know, Superman, you know, he, he's a uh, bisexual activist. Oh man, it's such big change, stunning and brave. When in reality, he could actually just stop climate change with his breath, you know, breathing out and cooling things down or like a... Uh, you know, you know, try to fight to save, you know, people in other countries, you know, like fight terrorism, things of that sort. But no, no, they got to do that. You know, <laughs> this is what I mean by people are not interested because they do stuff like this. Then, of course, you know, uh, Eliza Clark, uh, she had to come out and state this. My statement on why the last man in season two and the shock <laughs> she has in this show is not continuing. So she goes on this whole thing about talking about the show. You're trying to get people involved and trying to help save the show. 
try to talk about it to maybe even potentially get people interested. Now, and keep in note, this is what she says, okay? Pay close attention to this. This is what she said. I, I'm not joking. Why the last man is about gender, about how oppressive systems inform identity. We had a gender diverse team of brilliant artists led by women in almost every quarter of our production. What are you? An idiot sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Okay, let me go back over that. Let me get this straight. So, you have a diverse team of brilliant artists, which would be men and women, led by women at almost every quarter of our production. So then how, where, where's the diversity then? <laughs> These are clouds. Oh man, this is like honking the clown horn on your nose. Oh God. They're a joke to society. I swear. <laughs> oh man. Producers, writers, directors, cinematographers, production design, costume design, stunt coordination, and more is the most collaborative, creatively fulfilling, and beautiful thing I've ever been a part of. We don't want it to end. Oh, well, tough shit, Buttercup, because it's going to end. You know, thing is, had you actually focused on it actually being a story, okay? Had you actually focused on trying to make it interesting, not about identity politics, not about woke shit. Had you actually been trying to talk about how, like, society's fallen apart and has basically become like an apocalypse, and you talked about that, then yeah, yeah, okay, maybe people would be interested in the idea. But no, you, you make it about my diversity, my, my politics. Here's the thing. You know, had you actually made it interesting, it wouldn't be a problem. But that's not the point. The point is trying to push politics. There's nothing wrong with having diversity, but don't force it. When it's forced is when it's a problem. You know, what you want to do when you're trying to make a show or a movie or anything of that sort, you know, you want to hire people that are experienced, that know what they're doing, and that can make a good, high-quality product. That's what you want to do. You want to keep people invested. You want to keep them coming back. You know, but when they make the excuse of something like this where it's like, oh, diversity. See, here's the thing. Diversity has become a trigger word. And nowadays, whenever they use diversity in this way, it's just an excuse to say, oh, look, here's low quality product with the minimum amount of effort put into it. That's basically what it is. I mean, that's, that's pretty telling at that point. And here's the other thing. If you notice in this whole thing, like I said before, I'll say it again. They didn't talk about this show right here when they're like, oh, well, it's getting canceled. They didn't try to get you invested. They just talk about identity politics and all this other stuff, diversity, everything else that they're trying to push because it's all about the checkboxes. It's not about trying to make, like I said, a good quality product. And nobody's going to come by if they don't find this interesting. If this doesn't appeal to the people that it's supposed to be designated for, which were the comic book fans of it, then you failed. You know, the whole point is to entertain. The whole point is to create, you know, this beautiful art that is supposed to be a show. Instead... They're all about just, like I said, the check boxes. It's, it's all about pandering. And it's not about making a creative and interesting show for people to watch and have fun with. It's not what it's about. And that's the thing. You know, how are you going to gain an audience if you just do this crap? You know, instead of actually making an entertaining show. Because people want to be entertained. That's what it's about. It's like they never get this. They don't ever understand this. And instead, they just want to preach to you how you should live your life. And this is what people are tired of. And now they're trying to find a new place to have a home for it. You're trying to continue the season. Yeah, good luck with that. You, you can always pitch your idea to the CW. I mean, you look at Batwoman. That show's like a cockroach. <laughs> Despite the fact that it's been failing since season one. It continues to have its ratings dive off a cliff. And continue to soar all the way down to the depths of hell. I mean, it's still alive. <laughs> I mean, like, they can't get rid of it. They can't smash this thing like a cockroach. I'm still surprised it's actually on the air to this very day, considering how terrible it is. But, I mean, I guess CW just loves to continue to throw their money out there and lose money, because that's exactly what happens. And this is what happens when you get woke. You go broke. And, I mean, look at this. Batwoman continues to fail, which it might be on its deathbed, and the Why the Last Band gets canceled. Get what you fucking deserve! You know, they continue to question, oh, oh man, how, how is it that this keeps happening? Well, you know, maybe it's the fact that, I don't know, you, you keep pushing your politics down everyone's throat and everybody's sick and tired of the shit. I mean, I'm just saying, you, you know, they wonder why Japan's kicking their ass in terms of entertainment. Because they tell the stories they want to tell them. They don't worry about checkboxes or any of that stuff because that's not important. They know that they can tell whatever story they want. 
And look, if Japan, if they made a story on this, they would make it good. I'm sure they would. Man, that would probably be like one of the biggest harem stories ever. <laughs> it would probably go over well, maybe. Oh, I, I bet it would. But the thing is, is that you look at the West and, and how they do entertainment. Hollywood. You know, today it's it's not about Hollywood. It's about them sniffing their own farts and about them, you know, pushing their own agendas. That's what it's about. It's not about entertaining you. You know, this is another example of get woke, go broke, and why when something goes woke, it goes to shit. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you were new here. And make sure you were still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you were still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. We have a wonderful community there not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. The links are in the description down below but anyways i hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today and remember if today was not a good day tomorrow could always be better take care of yourselves and everyone around you and have yourselves a good one out there everybody